Southern Ukraine is endless flat steppes. Any mistake in the open can cost both sides dearly. But it is especially difficult in such conditions for the advancing Ukrainian troops. A successful offensive requires superiority in manpower and equipment, but it is especially critical to have an advantage in artillery. The Ukrainians have already taken fire control of all stationary crossings. The bridges over the Dnipro have either been partially destroyed or are regularly fired upon by HIMARS. We have already talked about this extremely effective weapon in one of our previous videos. As a result of the work of HIMARS, the group of Russian troops on the right bank of the Dnipro River is experiencing supply difficulties. This is a good moment to attack. However, the launch of one HIMARS rocket costs $150,000, and a salvo of six rockets costs almost $1 million. It is very expensive, so these systems are used for strategic purposes, bridges, headquarters, ammunition depots, etc. While to destroy the fortified positions and equipment of the invaders, a dense artillery brigade is needed, which will clear the way for the advancing side. The lack of artillery forces the Ukrainian government to look for any opportunities around the world. TRF-1 howitzers were accidentally discovered in the depots of the French army. Fortunately, they did not have time to send them to the smelter. It turns out that French forgetfulness can also be useful. The deal was approved by the French government. Chances are, by the time you're watching this video, the TRF-1 is already doing its job. A big plus is that these guns were not used extensively, so the wear of the barrels turned out to be minimal. The best part is that TRF-1s can use 155mm 6.1-inch NATO standard ammunition. And after a little modernization, the French howitzers are capable of firing even high-precision guided projectiles and inflicting dagger strikes on individual targets. More will be said about the tactics of using TRF-1 by Ukrainian artillerymen. In the meantime, let's take a closer look at the French cannon. TRF-1 is a towed gun. However, the cannon can move independently. True, the speed of movement is only 5 miles per hour. However, this is enough to independently enter the firing position off the highway. The TRF-1 can overcome obstacles and fjords that are inaccessible to the tractor. The depth of the ford or the height of the obstacle can be up to 4 feet, and the steepness of the slope can be up to 31 degrees. These are extremely important characteristics for fighting in the south of Ukraine. A little further, it will become clear why. The first prototype of the TRF-1 appeared in 1979. Between 1984 and 1993, 105 units were produced for the needs of the French army. But after 10 years, the famous Caesar self-propelled gun replaced the TRF-1. The fact is that at the end of the 90s, the world of weapons began to abandon towed artillery in favor of self-propelled guns. Satellites and UAVs have greatly increased the effectiveness of counter-battery combat. A howitzer on its own is much more likely to survive on the battlefield. Due to uselessness, France sold some of the guns to other countries. A total of 66 howitzers were sold. Saudi Arabia acquired 28 guns, Senegal bought 8 howitzers, Morocco 18 units, Cyprus 12. No more than 39 TRF-1 units remained in the warehouses of France, which were discovered by Ukrainian emissaries. Of course, the TRF-1 is far inferior to the British 777 howitzer, which is considered the gold standard among towed guns. These weapons are also used by Ukrainian troops. However, in terms of basic parameters, the French gun is no worse. For example, the TRF-1 has a rate of fire of 6 rounds per minute and a range of up to 98,500 feet. The range factor of the TRF-1 depends on the type of ammunition used. Approximately the same characteristics of the M777, which was nicknamed the Three Axes by the troops. What the TRF-1 doesn't have is a high-precision digital computer fire control system like the British towed artillery digitization. Such a smart system aims at the target using GPS and coordinates received from reconnaissance UAVs. Another disadvantage of the French TRF-1 is its large mass. The weight of the gun is almost 24,000 pounds. The British M777 is 2.5 times lighter due to the use of light alloys. On the other hand, Modern materials have made the British towed howitzer the most expensive in the world. The price per unit is almost $4 million. 
The cost of the French TRF-1 and the prices of the 90s is an order of magnitude lower. And the decommissioned guns were completely sold to Ukraine for half the price. Most of the amount was paid for the modernization of the guns. The tactics of using TRF-1 in the southern direction of hostilities are as follows. Towed guns have limited off-road capability compared to their self-propelled counterparts. Therefore, over long distances, the TRF-1 is transported on public roads by a tractor. The length of the gun in the stowed condition, with the beds flattened and the barrel turned forward, is just over 26 feet. Together with the tractor, the installation length does not exceed the length of a conventional truck with semi-trailer. Crew, seven people plus one tractor driver. At a given point, TRF-1 unhooks from the tractor and advances to the firing position under its own power. The driver parks and camouflages the tractor nearby. In such a situation, the tractor also serves as an ammunition depot. If the firing position is long-term, then the stock of shells is unloaded and the tractor goes for the next gun. Thus, one transport can serve several guns at once. The width of the roadway on the roads of the Southern Front does not exceed 36 feet. For such highways, there are standards for the depth of lateral longitudinal ditches. This figure does not exceed 4 feet, and the slope angle is usually less than 30 degrees. Therefore, TRF-1 is able to independently move off the highway and select a suitable firing position. And after completing the task, either return to the waiting tractor or hide in the forest belt, which usually separates the track from the plane. TRF-1 has a carriage of a traditional design, a platform with two sliding beds and sprung wheels. On the right is an additional wheel of small diameter. The engine is placed at the front. The movable bed from above gives guidance in two planes, horizontal aiming from 27 degrees to the left and 38 degrees to the right, vertical from negative 6 degrees to plus 66 degrees. The task of the TRF-1 is to quickly and accurately fire indirect fire on the forward forces of the enemy in order to sow panic and force them to leave their positions. The second mission is to suppress enemy artillery. Firing can be done from stationary positions covered by air defense systems. But now this option is unattainable for the Ukrainian troops, so the crews have to act as quickly as possible. The destruction of Russian artillery has the highest priority. It takes up to 900 shots to completely destroy one Russian battery of nine MLRS or other guns at a range of 54,000 feet. This is shooting with extremely high intensity. The ammunition load of one TRF-1 howitzer is 48 rounds. That is, one position must be worked out simultaneously by 19 TRF-1 combat crews. After that, the crews need to quickly roll up and leave their positions so that the counter-battery formations of the Russians do not have time to return fire. But if precision-guided munitions are used, then only 9 to 10 shells like the American Excalibur or the French Spasito will be required to destroy one Russian battery. The accuracy of hitting such projectiles is achieved, as a rule, through the use of GPS or other guidance systems. The use of high-precision projectiles reduces the number of civilian casualties and the scale of destruction of civilian infrastructure. For the Ukrainian troops, these are very painful issues because they are liberating their territory and their people. Another advantage of high-precision projectiles is the reduction in the wear of the TRF-1 barrels, which is important in conditions of a shortage of weapons. The resource of the TRF-1 barrel, according to unofficial data, is about 1,200 shots. After 1,000 shots, the gunner is forced to make allowances for barrel wear. For comparison, the resource of the M777 barrel is 2,650 rounds. The cost of a new barrel is $900,000. The third advantage is the increased flight range, which is achieved through the use of folding aerodynamic consoles, which allow the projectile to glide to the target. Excalibur-guided projectiles are the most accurate ammunition. The projectile has a jet engine or bottom gas generator. Of the 1,400 shells that were used before the war in Ukraine, the deviation from the target did not exceed 4 meters in 96% of cases. There are no statistics on their use in Ukraine yet, but there is every reason to believe that it is no worse. Hit accuracy is achieved through the GPS system and an inertial system that determines the speed of the target. The cost of ammunition, according to open data, is $100,000 to $120,000. Spasito, 
system with accuracy improved by Doppler cinemometer, the system operates on a different principle. The accuracy is achieved due to the Doppler effect. The radar determines the range of the target from the delay of the reflected signal and the speed of the target movement from the frequency shift of the reflected signal. The course of the Spacito projectile is corrected by the blades. The detonators have the function of an air blast. There is no price information, but it can be assumed that the cost of Spacito is much lower due to the simpler scheme. With one or two accurate hits, guided projectiles are capable of doing the work of an entire battery of artillery.